time to stock up your medicine cabinet and your car for the winter months. So Dr. Ian Tullberg, the a Memorial Hospital urgent care physician, joins me now. Uh, you know, often we, we wait till we're sick to go, go to the pharmacy and stock up. What kind of things should you just always have in your medicine cabinet? Uh, some real general things. Acetaminophen, uh, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, some decongestions possibly. Those are some really big things that will really get you through the winter months. Okay, and a lot of people have guests coming in town. You might want to buy a couple extra things for other people, right? Absolutely. Uh, as I like to say, it kind of depends on who's cooking. Uh, my fiance, you don't need any extras, believe me. Uh, but uh, Fount Mildred's coming over, maybe some Gas-Sex, some Miralax, <laughs> something else to kind of keep things regular might be a decent idea to have Lovely. on hand. Lovely. So uh, a lot of people are talking about the flu this year, that the, the flu virus has possibly mutated and the flu vaccine isn't all that effective. So should we get a flu shot? I if still you haven't already? Still absolutely recommended. Okay. Um, again, I'll bring this up. My fiance did not and spent three horrible days in bed Ooh. with the flu. Uh, flu shots right now, about 42% effective right in there. So it's absolutely recommended to do so. Okay, you didn't rub it in and say I told you so, did you? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> of course you did. Uh, so getting colder, and, and you probably see this a lot, people uh, getting in a bad situation if their car breaks down or if they mm -hmm. get in an accident and they don't have what they need in their car. What kind of things should people have in their car? Uh, number one, things to stay warm. Um, as we learned from what happened in the Northeast, you know, about 13 people died uh, from the winter storm. So blankets and gloves, extra scarves, hats, uh, those kind of things. Definitely something for uh, road traction as well. Tire chains, uh, some kitty litter, even non-clumping is, is really the way to go. Uh, anything that you might need for extra stay out the winter. Okay, and lastly, as you might be able to tell, I'm not feeling at the top of my game, uh, mm -hmm. so I've been doing all those emergency cough drops, um, right. and you kind of rolled your eyes a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, things are just are not studied to really be beneficial. Now, if it makes you feel better, if it's mm -hmm. a placebo effect, go for it. Uh, but I, I would not expect those things really to be too beneficial. Okay, I had a coach that told me cayenne pepper was going to cure me of everything, no? Mm -hmm. He's a coach, for a reason. <laughs> um, not a doctor. Uh, so I, I would not go with that advice. All right. So, oh, you crushed him. Crush I, I like to crush dreams, I'm sorry. Yeah, you just crushed my dreams, all right. Well, good to know, and I, I guess it doesn't work. Maybe I should get real medicine. Uh, real medicine is a good thing. That's why we're there. All right, thank you so much for being here. Thanks.